Joining me for this CEO Spotlight is Jim Connor, the CEO of Duke Realty. Jim, thanks so much for joining us. No problem, Matt. Thank you. Now, looking ahead, how do you see the balance of demand developing between both your traditional, more traditional customers and, and those customers focused on e-commerce? Well, I, I think we're in the absolute sweet spot right now. E-commerce is growing at let's call it roughly 15% a year. So it's a huge tailwind for all of us right now. And um, a lot of companies expanding into new state-of-the-art facilities. So that's, that on, on its own is great and a great demand driver. But you still have traditional bricks and mortar retailers that sales are growing, be it at a slower rate, two and a half to three and a half percent. But you know, those, those customers of ours, the traditional retailers are still growing, needing more space. So it's kind of the best of all worlds. You know, we're a nation of consumers. And as long as, you know, we've got positive GDP growth, good consumer confidence, that's a lot of goods going through our warehouses. And that puts us in a, in a really good spot right now. And, and Duke has, has always been, you know, known for its development. Uh, how would you describe your current momentum on the development side and do you have any pre-leasing targets in place? Coming out of the last recession, we applied some internal controls, basically said we are not going to set ourselves up for this the next time around. And just to give you some perspective, in 2008 we were probably doing a billion dollars of development and that development pipeline was 13% pre-leased. Um, that is not a good equation going into a recession. Today our pipeline is, is significantly smaller, it's about 700 million square feet and the pipeline pipeline is 59% pre-lease. So we've committed to our investors and the shareholders that we're always going to keep that development pipeline, wherever it fluctuates, above 50% pre-leased and just manage our risk at that, uh, you know, at that kind of level. And lastly, the broader economy is, is certainly full of uncertainty right now. You know, of course, the election has a lot to do with that. Absolutely. How is Duke positioned to, to cope in, in this current climate and, and any type of climate? First of all, I, I, I choose to be optimistic by nature. And, and I think as we're early on in a new administration coming in, uh, in spite of all of the rhetoric, I, I think calm will prevail and I think um, anything that the new administration does, um, you know, they will not try and do anything that's going to damage our somewhat fragile economy. And, you know, early on the expectations are for the GDP to actually grow, which is a very good, um, very good sign for us. I will tell you that uh, over the last five years we have repositioned the company's balance sheet tremendously reduced our leverage levels to position us to continue to grow in the future in whatever economic uncertainty we have. So with our leverage levels, we'd like to think if we do go into some sort of a downturn, we'll still have the opportunity to grow. Jim, thank you so much for joining us. No problem. Thank you, Matt. For more from REIT World 2016, be sure to visit REIT.com.